Good morning, children. I don't know if you like to spend time in a garden. I like to spend time in my garden, especially on a nice day like today. You might remember last week we talked about a garden in my book, and it was the Garden of Eden. And there's Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, all the trees and plants and flowers around them. And there was one special tree in the middle of the garden that had fruit on it, and God had told them, you mustn't eat the fruit from that particular tree. And sadly, the devil, in the form of a snake, tempted them and said, well, why don't you eat that fruit? And sadly, they gave in to that temptation, and they ate the fruit, and they disobeyed God, and they sinned against God. Well, I don't know if you've ever done wrong things, and your parents have punished you, Perhaps by sending you to your bedroom or stopping you playing a favourite game or something like that. And that's just to remind you that what you've done is wrong and they don't want you to do it again. Well, God punished Adam and Eve and that's our story for today. It says God punishes Adam and Eve. And do you know how they were punished? Well, they were punished by being sent out of that beautiful garden. There's an angel there, if you can see in the picture. And the angel has sent them away from the garden and he won't allow them back in again and one day suddenly they will die and I'm just going to read what it says in our book God punishes Adam and Eve Adam and Eve were not happy anymore because they disobeyed God he had to punish them he sent an angel to make them leave the beautiful garden God told Adam and Eve that because they disobeyed him they would have sadness and pain that day they began to grow old and die. And the question is, how did God punish Adam and Eve? Well, he sent them away from the garden, and one day they would die. And there's another question, why did he punish them? Well, the answer to that is that God is perfect. He can't allow anything that he's made, doing anything wrong. And imperfect and sinful like Adam and Eve so they had to be punished and you know it's the same for us we do wrong things and God would have to punish us but thankfully the Lord Jesus came into the world and he died on the cross and he paid the price for all the wrong things we've done he took our punishment in our place by dying on the cross even though he hadn't done anything wrong himself if we trust in him we can be forgiven and we can go to an even better place in the Garden of Eden and be with the Lord Jesus one day in heaven. Let's just pray and thank him for that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Lord Jesus who came into the world to pay the price for our sin by dying on the cross and taking our punishment for us. And we thank you that one day, if we trust in him, we can go to a wonderful place and be with him forever. Please help us, we pray. In his name. Amen. Well, thank you for listening, and I hope you'll enjoy the song that follows. Come on, come in, everybody, there is a God.
saints keep believing gather to hear the lord speaking humble your hearts tremble at his voice